Now, if there was one aircraft that came to symbolise the Vietnam War, it was the Bell Iroquois helicopter, better known as the Huey. This week, one of these iconic helicopters touched down at the Aviation Heritage Museum in Bull Creek for the last time. A group of Vietnam veterans were there to greet the Huey as it landed, reviving memories of a conflict that divided this nation. It was the last liftoff for the Huey from the ADF's 9 Squadron. Trucked to Perth, the chopper made its last low-level pass on the end of a crane hook to what will be its final resting place. And it's here that Vietnam veterans hope it will connect a new generation to one of Australia's most complicated and divisive conflicts. There's something happening here but What it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop children what's that sound everybody look what's going down the RAAF's 9 squadron flew Hueys in the Vietnam War on everything from routine supply missions to high hazard extractions under fire there must be some kind of way out of here the toughest missions I would think would be for a helicopter backed up by a second helicopter and gunships to go in to pick up SAS in a hot extraction. As you're flying out, you're going out about 2,000 feet, but then you descend down to the tops of the trees and you're flying along about 100 knots, and it's pretty, pretty exhilarating. But you're not enjoying the view, you're, you're really focused on what's happening, and you, you're all the time you're listening to the radios. You've got about three radios going on in your head, and you're listening to everybody. You're listening to the trips on the ground, you're listening to the aircraft above, you're listening to the the helicopter above that's, that's directing you because you can't actually see the direction you're going because you're so low. If, if you're lucky you can land and you can just pick them up and get out in a hurry but very often you have to um, come in to the tops of the trees and work your way down and then winch them out and that was when it was particularly um, difficult because you were, you were a sitting target. So you were going into an area hovering above the trees under fire while picking them up and trying to keep everyone safe. Very dangerous. Mm. The same hands that once fired the guns on the Huey during hot extractions are now helping reassemble one of the choppers for public display. Peter Robinson is leading a team of nine squadron veterans and ex-servicemen. Look at that. <laughs> putting the retired chopper back together. More? You haven't moved it any. Former aircraft fitter Trevor Havelberg is one of them. The first bit we put in was the mast, which is bolted into the transmission. And then the um, swash plate went on top of that. And then, uh, so while we were putting the mast and that in, other people were um, building up the radar and getting all that ready to go on. Hang on. Not lining up here. And once it's complete, it'll take its place among one of the nation's premier aviation collections. It's a world-class collection of aircraft from uh, Tiger Moth, early basic training, up until the Lancaster bomber that we have here, which is one of two in Australia. Uh, everything in between, really, in all theatres of war. We've got the helicopter, we've got the, uh, you've probably seen the mural at the back there that was painted by one of our volunteers and uh, it just about completes and it joins the two wings together. The south wing is mainly civil and commercial aviation whereas the north wing that we're in now is uh, practically all military. Behind the helicopter itself is a sprawling wall-sized mural creating a backdrop for the Huey exhibit. It's the work of 75-year-old Vietnam veteran and artist, Bill Horn. I tried to create Vietnam as the 
the, v uh, the boys who fought in Vietnam saw it. Uh, the guys have got to understand that the Vietnam was jungle. Now the Huey helicopter and the jungle was one. For the public, the Huey has been immortalised by Hollywood, creating some of the most famous battle scenes in the history of cinema. This is where the gun mounts were. For veterans, the memories this helicopter revives are vivid and often painful. I've seen kids with napalm. It hurts. But the main thing is the guys that fought there, they fought for this country. And they came back and they were downtrodden on and they were treated terribly. I want those guys to have a memory of what we fought for. I'm sorry. I had a good time. My time on choppers was excellent. Um, in two and a half thousand flying hours that I did, I never had a hydraulics failure. However, I think when you hear the sound is more poignant because of that distinct walk, 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 it can bring back bad memories as well. Whatever memories it evokes, the veterans hope that when it's finished, the Huey exhibit provides both a link to the past and a tribute to those who flew, fought and died over the jungles of Vietnam.